Profit will come out the like right before, right? <laughs> day before or something. No, because I'm not saying it'll come out the day before. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to remember when it happened last time. Well, we haven't had hearings last time either. So, you know, this is a different recession than we've ever had before. We are not going to just go protocol, tradition. We're going to do what's right for them. I think they understood the total numbers. We don't know. Some, uh, some heat we have not made that decision. Uh, we don't know. We have not made that decision. They said they cut the budget spending when they got over 20 million. The state government is bloated. They cut the budget plan. They didn't cut the Well, you know, I find it, you know, for as much grief as, as we get over how we're doing cuts and what we're doing in cuts, the fact is, in the end, we will have a balanced budget. And that will take $881 million in cuts or revenue, and it will happen because it legally must. But didn't the governor say there would be no additional revenue? <laughs> He said that there is no revenue that's been decided on that. He also said a fee was considered a tax increase, and then he said his recycling plan would include a fee. Right now, he meant the um, fee that's already charged for picking up garbage. He didn't mean a new fee. And so then the new fee he said we don't know yet. We don't know yet because it, it's based on more than one moving part. We have 17 counties. Every county has contracts with. Uh, Trash garbage, give me something to call it. I don't Lightful know. Operator. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> what's the politically correct word? And and each one of those have contracts, all, all of that. So when the most we're going to be proposing at this point, if we can get agreement with the legislature, is to have a 75% phased in recycling bill that will say that ultimately 75% of all the waste that's going to go in the ground has to be recycled. Not more than 25% could go in. And we want, the, and we talk to waste companies. They say they can't do it without. That's funny. They have in California, um, but but we're. And they have increased the fee. I know, but current contracts and that may get waivers, but what we want that for is to eliminate other junk coming into the state, like we're the dump state, the jungle. We can't do anything about that because it's all federal uh, law. You know, you're all, we're always finding where they're trying to bring dump trash in here. If we have it at a 75% level, that will give us some control. And that's not going to be now. It's going to be, David, like the renewal, renewables portfolio. It's going to be a phased in. You can apply for a waiver. We understand they're all different. It's that type of thing. But what we're trying to say to them ultimately is the intent is, and our direction is, we are moving to 75% must be recycled. And that's a first step. Yeah, it's, it's, In the next session, just, yeah. there can be a, a better laid out plan on what people can accept or not accept in regards to each individual county, the pilot project being here. The pilot project works here because they're importing from Lyon and Douglas and their fees are set in such a way that it's a win-win for everyone. Getting the garbage here saves Douglas and Lyon money, uh, the, the, the amount of uh, technology that's needed can be paid for by that money coming in and that works and that's a pilot project. A question I, I had I kind of asked the governor regarding uh, the education, higher education, which uh, was kind of, again, I didn't, I didn't mean to kind of you know, point a big finger at, but, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of talk about higher education in detail because that's kind of a different budget, a different story. Is there still a plan in the works right now? I mean, are you guys negotiating into what detail with, you know, the Chancellor Clayton and his, and his people and the legislature and their people and what's amenable and what's, what's doable and what's not doable? Well, when, when a cut is required at almost 22% and we're asking for a 10% cut mm -hmm. at this point, there's not a whole lot to negotiate. They're getting the better end of this deal. And they do have the ability to raise money whereas other programs in K through 12 doesn't. That, and, and that's actually kind of the bone of the contention of what, uh, from student leaders across the state of kind of basically said that uh, that's not fair. That, you're, that, that in turn is a tax increase on the very students who already have a tough time getting the capital to go to school or to raise the funds to go to school. And, um, well, you know, we have the Millennium Scholarship Fund, we have prepaid mm -hmm. tuition, we have a lot of other things that go on to help in that area. Mm -hmm. But when a family has a choice between buying their medicine 
or feeding their family or paying their mortgage. There are things that have to be prioritized and we're doing the same thing in the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm talking with budgets and we're talking about dialysis, we're talking about brain surgery for children, we're talking about all those things, mm -hmm. a sociology class is going to be at the bottom. Makes sense, and then that all well, makes sense. I guess given that those are the conditions that you have to look at everyone, I mean, look at everything equally. Um, again, not to harp, their, not to harp the educa their education line, but they, you know, they're, again, their cont point of contention is the fact that in an economy, you know, just like social services, just like you know, no, police no, and no, fire. higher ed is not like social services. That's that's wrong. They're not. It's not a life and death situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm serious. We talk about life and death situations in these budget meetings. So it, it is different. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's the. So that's it's different. Kind of, so that's kind of the starting point where things are at the moment from, your, from the governor's office to a degree. From the governor's office, from the legislative leadership that I've been meeting with, mm -hmm. we all recognize that we have to decide on diapers for seniors. Mm -hmm. And higher ed hasn't floated to the top at this point. However, I will say that that um, President Claych, President Chancellor, Claych, yes. Chancellor Claych, all of those have, have been very open in working with us, mm -hmm. and that's great. And and they also recognize our priority is the lives of our citizens. Works for me. Thank you. Yes.